In this video, we're going to cover key things that you need to know about acne in babies, and we'll cover the following areas, all of which are time-stamped. So first of all, can newborn babies really get acne? Well, the answer is yes. About 20% of newborns, or one in five babies, have got acne that can appear any time within the first two months of life. However, it most commonly appears between two to four weeks after birth. Now, other names for baby acne are newborn acne, neonatal acne, or neonatal cephalic pustulosis. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to stick to the term baby acne. Now, baby acne is different from infantile acne. Infantile acne occurs between two months to one year of age, and symptoms of infantile acne can reach beyond pustules and bumps that you see in baby acne to include blackheads. If your child gets acne after two months of age, so infantile acne, you may want to speak to your healthcare provider because it may take longer for infantile acne to clear up, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on baby acne. So what causes baby acne? Well, the exact cause of baby acne is not known. Acne is usually the result of clogged pores, and when your pores clog, a pimple can develop. It's also likely that baby acne can be the result of hormonal changes that affect your newborn during birth or the first few weeks of their life. Now, hormones in your placenta can affect how your baby's skin produces something called sebum, and that's the oily substance that the sebaceous glands in your baby's skin make to protect their skin and hair. Now, too much sebum can clog pores and lead to acne. Furthermore, babies have also got sensitive skin when they're born. Their skin may react negatively to anything that's left on it for too long, especially if they've got food, vomit, or drool on their skin. So where does baby acne appear? Well, just like acne that you probably associate with teenagers, breakouts of baby acne often appear on a baby's nose, cheeks, forehead, chin, head, back, and chest. In terms of what it looks like, well, baby acne will often look like small red to purple bumps that are swollen. These are called papules, and you'll see different examples of these on different skin types here. Now, they may also have small bumps that contain pus, surrounded by a red, purple, or dark brown ring. These are called pustules. Your baby's acne may look more visible when they cry, but they won't have blackheads if they've got baby acne. Remember, blackheads are more a feature of infantile acne, which, as I mentioned earlier, happens between two months and one year of age, but most commonly between three and six months. So what about treatment? Well, in terms of prevention and treatment, there's nothing that you can really do to prevent it, and there's little that you can do to treat baby acne. However, there are a few important things that you should and shouldn't do, and we'll go through those now. So never use acne medicine or face wash on your baby unless specifically instructed to do so by a pediatric dermatologist or doctor. Don't scrub or pick at your baby's acne and try to use lukewarm rather than hot water when washing your baby's skin and try to wash their skin daily. Try to avoid using oily or greasy skincare products on your baby's skin. This can just serve to block the pores and try your best to clean up any food residue or vomit from your baby's skin immediately after they make a mess. Now the great news is that baby acne is generally considered harmless and it will clear up by itself within a few weeks to months and it's unlikely to cause any permanent scars or damage. But if it's not getting better after a few weeks, it's getting worse, or you've got any concerns, you can always see your health provider. Now, when else might you want to contact your health provider? Well, as I've mentioned, if your baby's acne is getting worse or you've got any concerns, you should speak to your health provider because there is a possibility that it could be the result of another health condition or simply a reaction to a skin product that you're using. So it's important to talk to your health provider to help determine what the root cause of this might be. So it's important to talk to your health provider to help determine what the root cause of this might be. It could also be what you think is acne is actually eczema or a skin infection. Now your health provider will be able to help distinguish which of these conditions your baby has. Finally, if your child develops acne after two months of age, as I've mentioned, you might want to speak to your health provider, especially if there are blackheads, as this could be infantile acne. Now similar to neonatal acne, infantile acne usually clears up 
on its own within six months to a year and doesn't generally cause scars or lasting damage to the skin. But again, if you have any concerns, it's worth speaking to your health provider. If your child has got any of the following signs and symptoms, then you need to seek immediate medical attention.